What's up guys, it's MCJ, Matt Collins Jones here, back with another video on PowerFX and commanding inside of model driven apps. If you haven't seen the news or you haven't watched my previous video, go check that one out here. It's an introduction to commanding in PowerFX. It'll show you the, the basics on how to get started with this. In today's video, we will be looking at how we can patch the record that you're in and update the values. So what is, what is patch and what are we doing? So patch is a way to write data to a record. So if you're familiar with Canvas apps, if you're familiar with PowerFX in Canvas apps, patch allows you to update or to create new records. This, this is big because this is what you will do most of the time. Uh, and if you're not using things like forms in, in Canvas apps and using patch instead, it allows you to define the fields that you want to create or update, and then you can write those to your data source. In this video, what we're going to show you is the ability to um, trigger a button and have that update the record that you're in from the main form. We'll cover things like uh, associated grids and update multiple form, um, update multiple records in future videos. But this one will just show you how to update the single record that you're in. So let's get started. I'm in my uh, my command designer here, uh, and this is the designer we've been using in the last couple of videos. Uh, this is on my uh, accounts form, uh, my accounts main form, and I've got a couple of different buttons here. So we're going to choose this Batman button uh, because Batman. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to write a formula on on the select of this to make it patch, make it update uh, the record that we're in. So by selecting the button and then going up to the on select, we can edit the formula in here. Now what we want to choose is we want to choose the patch function. So as I said, patch allows you to create or update records inside a data source. So in this instance, we're going to patch the record that we're in so that we can, um, so we can update it. So that's all that this is kind of meaning is we're just going to update a record. We're not going to create any new records, we're just updating the record that we're in. So the first thing it asks for is the source. So what is the data source that we are going to be updating? Now I'm in my accounts entity, so my source is actually um, accounts. So choose uh, the accounts uh, from the IntelliSense here. It's saying, right, accounts, great. Um, so we're choosing patch, we're choosing accounts here. This is the source that we're in. Next, we need to choose the record. So we can see the IntelliSense here, it's telling us the syntax. It is source, it is record, and then it is update. So the source is the accounts, the accounts table. The record, and as we click again, we can update multiple things. Um, the, the record is the actual record that we're in. So again, like in the last video, we're going to use the self control, or the self operator here. This is saying, right, okay, look at the thing that we're in and reference that. So again, we're gonna choose self, we're gonna choose selected, again, because it's the record that we're in, and we're gonna choose um, item. There we go, that's the one, item. So, so what that's saying is that's saying, right, look at the record that we're in, the one that we've selected, and choose this item. So it's a single item that we're passing in, it's the, the one that we're in, and essentially the one we've selected. So with that, we can um, specify the specify the record and the table. Another column, and what we can then do is we can open our, our braces, so our curly brackets here. And from here, we can actually add in multiple fields inside a JSON object. And then we can pass all of those in a single patch and update the record in one row instead of multiple updates per field. So we can just put it all inside a single JSON object and then Power, uh, PowerFX will handle the rest of that and it'll update all the fields. So again, in here, what we need is we need um, the, the display names of the fields and then the values that we're going to put in them in key pairs. So for instance, we're going to choose account name, which is this one here. And it's going to give me a colon between them. It's putting them in single quotation marks because there's a space in the middle. So it's going to understand that this is a string and we need to uh, treat it as well. Actually, it's all uh, JSON, so it'll all be inside quotation marks. Um, and what we'll do is we'll add in double, double quotation marks to say it's a string. Um, and we'll say, uh, what I call the account Batman. That's the name of the account. Or we, actually, what we'll do, we'll call it Wayne and like that. Now, if I leave it there, if I just uh, have it like that, 
it will it will understand and it will uh, oh, actually I need a bracket at the end um, there was a little squiggly uh, it will just update that single value inside of um, inside of my account so let's let's show that so we'll save and publish and then we will hit play so we hit play we're in our uh, we're in our um, environment here we can choose the uh, account name here so the account record that we have and when this loads up we can see we'll have our batman button and we can do something with it so we can see the account name at the moment is this that i've just typed in randomly but if i hit the batman button it will change it to wayne enterprises and you can see it actually refreshes the page as well so that's great so that's that's one thing but what if we want to update some different fields what if we want to update a telephone number for instance or what if we want to update a choice field so something like um, this industry one uh, for instance this industry one has um, loads of different choices that we could choose from uh, what if we want to update those as well so the syntax is, is basically the same but let's just go through it so after we patch that first column, we just add a comma, uh, and then it gives me a list of all my fields again, and I can choose main phone, because that's the name of that telephone number, and then I can type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, this is, this is a JSON object. It's not going to need uh, brackets or, or, or quotation marks around it, because it's going to treat it as a number. It doesn't need those, so that's fine. Um, we'll add another comma and in this one we'll choose industry so we'll choose this industry here uh, and again because this is this doesn't have a space in it it's not going to have single quotation marks around so it's it's denoted like that as you can see with account name here or main phone now for this one we're going to choose something slightly different so this is a choice field which means it's going to have a value behind the scenes so the so a choice field has a label and it has a value so but what it actually is it's actually a secret lookup to like another table but we just kind of don't show people that um so we kind of have to write things slightly differently for this and so we'll type in industry and as we hit that it comes up with industry accounts so it knows there is an option set field on the accounts entity or the accounts table called industry um, and this is going to contain multiple values behind the scenes so we'll choose that and then that'll do us that and we can hit dot and then we have a list of all of the different um, all of the different choices in that in that choice field so we'll choose consumer services for instance and as I do that everything goes away so at this point we're going to update the accounts form that we're in we're going to change the name to Wayne Enterprises change the main telephone number to this and we're going to update that industry field to this field to, to this value here consumer services so let's save and publish and let's test this out let's go back to our form we will change the account number to uh, the account name to this we'll notice that the phone number is blank uh, we can see that's updated there if we go to the details tab we'll notice that that industry is not filled in at the moment so that's all good if i uh, just refresh the browser once just to make sure that we've got the latest changes from that command bar and it'll do everything great so it's loading back up and if i hit the batman button now what we should see is account name populated telephone or, or phone populated and we should get the update to the um, industry field as well so we can see account name wayne ent phone this if I go to the details we can see the industry is updated so this is how you'll interact with a lot of these fields so some of these will be uh, slightly unique uh, like the choice fields for instance or the booleans are going to be slightly unique but most of the time all we're going to need is just this simple structure this simple syntax here of patch and then the table name then the record that we want to patch and then the um, and then the data that we want to patch. So this is how to update a single record. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see me cover how to update multiple records, how to update records from different locations, so maybe main forms and, and um, main grids and, and subgrids and stuff like that. Let me know if those videos will be useful to you and I will make them for you. 
If you did find this video useful, if you could drop a like and share it with a friend, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.